हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students so such friends i'll highly suggest you to watch our video as they will be very beneficial for you in the long hello everyone how are you all i hope you are all good so in this video friends we will be discussing important current affairs of the first week of the may month the session will be very important so do pay attention till the end here we will be seeing the compilation of all the important current affairs for the first week of may so let's start the first question is which company or institute has recently collaborated with ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare to launch the first ever millets experience center in new delhi focus on this word millets experience center and we know international year of the millets which is it it is your 2023 declared by prime minister narendra modi in 2018 correct so which company collaborated with ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare to launch this first ever millets experience center it is your national agriculture or uh, this is your i correct national agriculture cooperative marketing federation of india right and apart from this you also need to remember where was this held this was held in new delhi correct next and in new delhi to remember it was at delhi hat correct and this delhi hat is also known by the name food bazaar of delhi next indian navy started inducting the naval anti drone system for surface warship i repeat indian navy started inducting the naval anti drone system for surface warship now the question asked here is that which company indigenously developed this nads that is your naval anti drone system for surface warship this was developed by drdo that is your defense research and development organization all right and with the help of indian navy they and manufactured c question here is this is indigenously developed by whom but if the question asks that it is manufactured by whom so it was manufactured by bharat electronics limited correct and this has been developed under atmanirbhar bharat next if i ask you recently a cyber security skilling program cyber security skilling program was recently held can you tell me the location where was this program held or in which iit this was held to be to make easy for you it is your iit kanpur correct then if i ask you recently which countries have joined the net zero innovation virtual center it is your india or which country will be developing this net zero innovation virtual center it will be developed by india along with united kingdom correct 
देन सिंथान सिंथान स्नो फेस्टिवल वेयर वॉज दिस सिंथान स्नो फेस्टिवल हेल्ड इट वॉज हेल्ड इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर करेक्ट देन इंडिया कॉलिंग कॉन्फ्रेंस इंडिया कॉलिंग कॉन्फ्रेंस वेयर वॉज और इट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज बाई होम एंड वेयर वॉज हेड हेल्ड सो इंडिया कॉलिंग कॉन्फ्रेंस फॉर ट्वेंटी थ्री इट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज बाई आई एम सी दैट इज योर इंडियन मर्चेंट्स चेंबर एंड इट वॉज हेल्ड इन मुंबई करेक्ट अ थ्री डे लॉन्ग हेरिटेज फेस्टिवल वॉज हेल्ड रिसेंटली वेयर वॉज दिस हेल्ड दिस थ्री डे लॉन्ग हेरिटेज फेस्टिवल वॉज हेल्ड इन गोवा और राइट गोवा गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइज इट नेक्स्ट रिसेंटली विच स्टेट हाउसिंग बोर्ड गॉट द नेशनल अवार्ड फॉर रियल एस्टेट आई रिपीट नेशनल अवार्ड फॉर रियल एस्टेट वॉज अवॉर्डेड टू विच हाउसिंग बोर्ड ऑफ विच स्टेट इट इज योर राजस्थान हाउसिंग बोर्ड टू विच रिसेंटली द नेशनल अवार्ड फॉर रियल एस्टेट वॉज प्रजेंटेड देन रिमेंबर प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी वर्चुअली इनोग्रेटेड नाइंटी वन एफ एम ट्रांसमीटर्स ऑफ हंड्रेड वॉट एंड ईच ट्रांसमीटर दीज ईच नाइंटी वन ट्रांसमीटर्स आर बींग बिल्ड विद अ कॉस्ट ऑफ टू करोड़ रुपीज पर पीस नेक्स्ट विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिसेंटली रिलीज द रिपोर्ट विद द की फाइंडिंग दैट अराउंड नाइनटी परसेंट दैट इज नाइन आउट ऑफ टेन ऑफ द अडोलसेंट गर्ल्स एंड यंग वीमेन एज फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी फोर इन लो इनकम कंट्रीज हैव नो एक्सेस टू द इंटरनेट सो दिस डाटा वॉज रिलीज बाय यूनाइटेड नेशंस चिल्ड्रेंस फंड एज द डाटा सजेस्ट एज द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ गिव गिव द ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट इज नाइन आउट ऑफ टेन वीमेन of the adolescent women and young women aged between 15 to 24 they have no or less access to the internet all right almost they have no access to the internet correct and here among 54 countries the data has been taken out for every 100 male youth who have digital skills only 65 you female youth have the skills correct next Name the bank that recently launched Shubh Aram Deposit Scheme for Senior Citizens. If it is a Senior Citizen Scheme, then the rate of interest here will be greater than that of the normal person. So this Shubh Aram Deposit Scheme was launched by whom? It was launched by Bank of India. They have announced the launch of a retail term deposit scheme for senior citizens that was named Shubh Aram Deposit. Through this scheme, the bank revised the interest rate. with an additional interest rate of 0.5% for senior citizens and 0.65% for super senior citizens correct and for the general public the interest rate is 7.15% and this is for 501 day term next who was recently appointed as the chairperson of the life insurance corporation of india for lic who has been appointed as the chairperson tell me siddharth mohanty siddharth mohanty has been appointed as the new chairperson of lic correct next who authored the book reflections that was recently released by union minister of finance nirmala sitaraman so this book reflection has been authored by narayan vaghul narayan vaghul right so this book has been released by nirmala sitaraman but authored by narayan vaghul who is the former chairman of icici bank correct and this book is a basically a vivid account of vaghul's experience over several decades in the financial sector of india also narayan vaghul has been honored with padma bhushan award in trade and industry category in the year 2010 next if i ask you tell me recently which country will join the international climate action in civil aviation from 2027 it will be our india correct then how many new conservation wildlife conservation reserves has been declared in rajasthan now the total number is 26 and the total that have been launched is Three, correct. Then, Devendra Fadnavis has unveiled the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj statue in Mauritius. 
देन इफ आई आस्क यू रिसेंटली इंडिया साइंड एन एम ओ यू विद विच कंट्री फॉर इंडस्ट्रियल रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट कॉरपोरेशन इट इज योर इंडिया एंड इजराइल नेक्स्ट इज अ फेशियल रिकॉग्निशन सिस्टम फॉर द इनर लाइन परमिट वॉज लॉन्च बाई विच स्टेट इट वॉज लॉन्च बाय मणिपुर करेक्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस इंडिया डोमेस्टिक कोल प्रोडक्शन हैज बीन ऑन द हाई ऑफ द लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स ऑल राइट एंड इट इज ओवर बाय ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव और ट्वेंटी टू परसेंट नेक्स्ट रिमेंबर विच गवर्नमेंट लॉन्च द इंश्योरेंस स्कीम फॉर टॉडी टैपर्स फॉर टॉडी टैपर्स विच स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हैज लॉन्च एन इंश्योरेंस स्कीम इट इज योर तेलंगाना गवर्नमेंट राइट तेलंगाना गवर्नमेंट देन टेल मी हु लॉन्च द लोगो मैस्कॉट फॉर खेलो इंडिया यूनिवर्सिटी गेम्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इट वॉज बाय अनुराग ठाकुर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस टेल मी यूथ ट्वेंटी कंसल्टेशन प्रोग्राम वेयर वॉज दिस हेल्ड एंड कंक्लूडेड यूथ ट्वेंटी कंसल्टेशन प्रोग्राम वॉज कंक्लूडेड इन उत्तराखंड राइट then india's first air force heritage center has been inaugurated where it has been inaugurated in chandigarh i repeat india's first air force heritage uh, center inaugurated in chandigarh next what was the theme of the world immunization week that was observed across the globe from 24 to 30th of april so the theme that you need to remember is the big catch up it is the theme of world immunization week observed across the globe from 24 to 30th of april correct and the first ever as immunization week was held in the year 2012 according to the data released by ministry of finance in may gst collection in april 2023 increased by almost 12% to over 1.8 lakh 7 crore from 1.68 lakh 7 crore in april 2022 that is from last year so a total jump of 12% has been seen in the gst collection correct gst is your goods and service tax and it is your indirect tax next according to us immigration and customs enforcement in its annual report released in april 2023 india surpassed dash in sending more students to the us in 2020 so remember according to this us immigration and customs Info enforcement uh, they released a report in which it stated that india has surpassed china in sending more students to the united states all right for study purposes for higher education purposes the report mentioned that india sent almost 64300 students to america in 2022 while china number shrunk to just 24796 persons to usa all right so india surpassed china here even india has surpassed china to become the world's most populous country next from which aircraft drdo and indian navy recently conducted the successful maiden test of the trial of adc 150 from the coast of goa so remember it is your il 38 sd aircraft from which drdo along with indian navy they have recently conducted a successful maiden trial of adc 150 from goa this adc 150 what is this adc 150 basically it is an indigenously designed and developed air droppable container and here 150 stands for 150 kg category correct so it is the payload capacity it is a droppable container which was tested by drdo and indian navy along which aircraft IL 38 SD aircraft Next according to the future of jobs report 2023 insights report May 2023 that was released by World Economic Forum the Indian job market is expected to expand by 22% over the next 5 years with the top job creation from the artificial intelligence machine learning and data segment so the correct option is option 4 so it was the fourth edition of the world economic forums biannual survey report and it stated that indian job market will be growing is expected to grow by 22% over the next 5 years with the job creation in artificial intelligence machine learning and data segments 
नेक्स्ट इज नेम द बैंक दैट रिसेंटली लॉन्च्ड डिजिटल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन प्लेटफॉर्म टू कनेक्ट बिजनेस कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंट्स एंड बिजनेस फैसिलिटर्स टू द बैंक सो इट इज योर एच डी एफ सी बैंक दे हैव लॉन्च द डिजिटल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन प्लेटफॉर्म बेसिकली टू कनेक्ट बिजनेस कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंट्स एंड बिजनेस फैसिलिटेटर्स टू बैंक दिस प्लेटफॉर्म विल मेक इट ईजी फॉर द एच डी एफ सी बैंक एजेंट्स एंड बी सीज दैट इज योर बैंक कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंट्स टू सेल सर्विसेज स्पेशली इन द रूरल एरियाज दिस लॉन्च इज अ स्टेप टूवर्ड्स फुलफिलिंग इंडियाज विजन ऑफ अ कैशलेस इकोनॉमी एंड ट्रू डिजिटल फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन नेक्स्ट विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और कंपनी रिसेंटली साइंड एन एम ओ यू विद आई हब डाटा ऑफ ट्रिपल आई टी हैदराबाद टू सपोर्ट फिनटेक सो विच इज इट इट इज योर इंटरनेशनल फाइनेंशियल सर्विस सेंटर अथॉरिटी दैट इज योर आई एफ एस सी ए दे हैव पार्टनर्ड विद आई हब डाटा दैट इज अ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ट्रिपल आई टी हैदराबाद एंड विद दैन दे साइंड एन एम ओ यू टू एनेबल कॉपरेशन एंड कोलेबरेशन ऑन वेरियस डाइवर्स इनिशियटिव रिगार्डिंग फिनटेक सेक्टर दैट इज योर फाइनेंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सेक्टर नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इफ आई आस्क यू टेल मी रिसेंटली रशिया सर्व बैंक दे हैव लॉन्च ए ए आई प्लेटफॉर्म इन कॉम्पिटेंस विद चैट जी पी टी सो क्वेश्चन कैन बी आज दैट इट वॉज लॉन्च बाय विच रशियन बैंक इट इज योर सुपर बैंक एस बी ई आर बैंक ऑफ रशिया करेक्ट वॉट इज द रैंक ऑफ इंडिया इन द वर्ल्ड प्रेस फ्रीडम इंडेक्स फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री द रैंक ऑफ इंडिया इन दिस वर्ल्ड प्रेस फ्रीडम इंडेक्स इज हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी वन विच इज द कंट्री विच हैव टॉप हेयर इट इज योर नॉर्वे टॉप हेयर करेक्ट देन हु लॉन्च मशीन कैन सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री समिट दैट इज मशीन कैन सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री दिस समिट मशीन कैन सी ट्वेंटी United Arab Emirates, correct. Then remember, which state topped the market boring for the third consecutive year as per the data released by RBI? It will be your HDFC Bank. Correct. Next, Reliance General. Reliance General became the first insurer to accept the central bank digital currency. That is your e-rupee. then if we talk about the gst collection for april month it was the highest ever that is 1.87 lakh crore again i am reminding you this this is important correct then apart from this tell me recently who has been appointed as the first permanent ceo of vodafone she will be magrita della valle then who has been appointed as the chairman of atomic energy commission we just saw ajit mohanty Next, according to IMF's Regional Economic Outlook Asia and Pacific for May 2023 that was released in May, the Asia Pacific region's growth is estimated to increase dash in 2023 from 3.8 percent growth recorded in 2022. So, from 3.8 percent in 2022, the Asia Pacific region is expected to grow by 4.6 percent in the year 2023, and this data was released by International Monetary Fund. Washington DC is the headquarter of IMF. Next, so the correct option is four point six. Next is who was recently presented with BAFTA fellowship? That is your British Academy of Film and Television Arts. So remember, Mira Sial. All right, UK based Indian origin actor writer Mira Sial. She is sixty one years of age. She was presented. with bafta fellowship that is the highest granted accord annually by the bafta correct next name the personality who was recently conferred with the shatabdi purush that is the man of the century title very important and he will be pandit ramkrishnan he was the former member of parliament of lok sabha pandit ramakrishnan was honored with the title of shatabdi purush that is the man of the century title he was honored with this title to recognize his efforts as a socialist leader as a socialist leader leader during an event organized to mark the birth century of madhu limai a socialist ideology and ace parliamentarian in new delhi correct so we can say 
that pandit ramakrishnan he has been participating in various social events and helping people so for that he was honored with shatabdi purush or the title that is the man of the century next if i ask you who has be, will be the new or the 14th president of world bank he will be ajay banga who will be the next coal india chief pm prasad then tell me who has been appointed as the brand ambassador of wakefit wakefit appointed ayushman khurana as their brand ambassador then who has been appointed as the managing director of accenture india he will be ajay vij correct next is related to your sports who won the asia bison grand prix for 2023 sergio perez then who won the who was the china's first male world chess champion he was ding liren right ding liren then tell me who was the first indian to complete global golden uh, golden globe race i repeat who became the first indian to complete the golden globe race he was avilash tommy correct who won the acc men's premier cup it was won by nepal correct next the first anniversary of india ua cepa implementation was observed on 1st of may 2023 last year if you have have been following me from one or two years then you must know that i taught you about this about the sepa it was launched on 1st of may in 2022 and this year in may 2023 one year has been completed for the same correct cepa stands for comprehensive economic partnership agreement all right and what is cpa cpa is a full and deep agreement that was signed last year and basically it is to increase the uh growth or increase the trade between the both the country that is india and ue you must have seen that now we are using upi also indian currencies are being used at the dubai airports all ue airports all right so we can see that the trade between these two countries are increasing even we are sending more laborers to different parts of the labor more skilled laborers correct so what does e stands for in cepa the full form here is comprehensive economic partnership so option 1 is correct here next which countries directorate of defense research and development and council of scientific and industrial research india signed a multi sectoral mou on industrial research and development corporation so remember from india or we can say between india and israel this mou was signed on industrial research and development and i have told you this earlier but now the important thing you need to remember here is the organizations of these two countries that is director of defense research and development from india and csir that is council uh, sorry department i correct here i correct here from india it is csir and from israel it is your department of defense research and development so from israel and from india from csir these two organization came together to increase the trade or to increase the industrial industrialization research and development between these two countries and also to share information for the same next name the department of ministry of finance that has recently launched the scheme vivad se vishwas one relief to msmes for providing relief to msme for covid 19 period which is it will be it will be your department of expenditure so department of expenditure that has recently launched the scheme vivad se vishwas one that is relief to msmes for providing various reliefs to msme during covid 19 next which organization has recently collaborated with niti aayog to release the best practices in social sector a compendium 2023 it is your undp that is united nation development program they partnered with niti aayog to release the best practices in social sector a compendium correct and the compendium was also framed to commemorate the 75 years of india's independence and the case studies have been sourced from various 28 states and union territories for the same to highlight the theme of achievement at 75 correct 
Next is name the Indian Institute of Technology that recently signed an MOU with Indian Army's military engineer services to convert IA stations cantonments into carbon neutral campuses. So remember it is your IIT Kanpur that tied up with Indian Army's military energy services and basically the reason for this was to convert the cantonments and uh, Indian Army stations into carbon neutral campuses if we talk about india the target of india to become carbon neutral is 2070 we talk about kerala the target of kerala to become carbon neutral is 2050 and they are planning on shifting 100 percent of renewable energy by 2040 next name uh, which country hosted the first asian india maritime exercise in may 2023 it is your singapore right i repeat which country hosted the first Asian India Maritime Exercise in May? It is your Singapore, right? Asian stands for Association of Southeast Asian Nation. Correct? Next. As per the 21st edition of the World Press Freedom Index released by the Reporters Without Borders in May, India secured which rank? India secured... 161st rank out of 180 countries right we just saw world press freedom index rank of india here is 161 and the first rank is of denmark and this is for the seventh consecutive time that denmark has sick beyond the first position next next if i ask you or let me revise some important days for you here correct let's start first is First of May, we observe International Labor Day. On first only, we observe Maharashtra Day as well as Gujarat Day. Then on second of May, we observe World Tuna Day. Tuna is a fish. Third of March is observed as World Press Freedom Day. And in World Press Freedom Index, rank of India 161 and Denmark topped here. Correct. Then World Asthma Day on second of April or second of May. These are of May, right? Don't get confused if I have said April. So please forget these are of May. Then 4th of May, coal miners. 4th of May also, International Firefighters Day. Then World Portuguese Language Day it is observed on 5th of May. And on 5th only, we observe World Hand Hygiene Day. On 5th only, we observe Buddha Purnima. On 5th only, we observe International Day of the Midwife. Correct? So these are some of the important days that you need to remember. Remember 7th May also. It was the 64th edition of the BRO, that is your Border Road Organization Day. So these were your important days, friend. Let's move. Which bank has recently partnered with Pine Labs India to accept digital rupee on their point of sale terminals? So which is it? It is your ICIC bank. They will be accepting the digital rupee, that is your e-rupee, at the point of sale terminals of ICICI bank all right or the point terminals of these pine labs correct they will be accepted in mumbai maharashtra and bangalore karnataka the execution of the pine labs e rupee payment process is completely digital via qr code and the acceptance of e rupee will provide a seamless payment option to the users as well as it will improve the operational efficiency of merchants with pine lab point of sale terminals correct and this e rupee was launched by rbi in two segments retail and wholesale next name the bank that recently granted the first foreign portfolio investment license to alchemy india long-term fund relocated to india's gift city so remember it is your kotak mahindra bank that has granted the first foreign portfolio investment license to alchemy india long-term fund relocated to india's gift city correct and alchemy india long-term fund will complete 50 years of their operation in june following the redomicilization process of this in the gift city and gift city is in gujarat according to data from rbi released in may which state emerged as the highest market borrowing state for the third consecutive year and we just saw this it is your tamil nadu Tamil Nadu became the highest borrowing state for the third consecutive year. All right, their loan stood at around 68,000 crore rupees. Next, 
according to the national manufacturing innovation survey released in may which state has topped the indian manufacturing innovation index ranking 2022 with an imii score of 33.4 so remember it is your karnataka that has topped in the indian manufacturing innovation index ranking for 2022 and in karnataka elections were held recently and congress has won those election with maximum number of seats here right and karnataka is also a best state for research and development also remember this question can be asked next which company recently signed an mou with ministry of housing and urban affairs for technical assistance for solid waste management and used water management under swachh bharat mission urban 2.0 correct so which company recently signed this mou with the ministry it is your rail india technical and economic service limited they signed this mou with solid waste management uh, signed this mou with ministry of housing and urban affairs for various technical assistance in solid waste management and swachh bharat mission urban 2.0 basically for cleanliness this mou was signed then according to the data released by reserve bank of india in may india's service exports increased by a record of how much percent so india service sector is increasing and india saw a increase of 26.6% in the year 2223 to around 322 billion dollar so i repeat rbi uh released the data stated that india's service sector is increasing and their export has increased by a record of 26.6 billion uh, percent in the fiscal year 23 to 322 billion dollar correct here if it is talked about merchandise export so it grew by only 6% and the total valuation is at 447 billion dollar in the current fiscal year 20 So the correct option here becomes option two. Which bank has recently partnered with the Cash Free Payments to offer international payment collection service to Indian exporters? So it is your Yes Bank. They have partnered with Cash Free Payments to offer international payment collection service to Indian exporters. Right? This partnership will enable the Yes Bank account holders to collect payment in over thirty foreign currencies, and After receiving the payment the customer could convert the payment into rupee and settle into their local bank account in India with one business day that is within just one business day it will be able to do that also the payment service will include dedicated facilities in four currencies dollar pound sterling euro and canadian dollar next Ajay Pal Singh Banga was appointed as the dash president of World Bank so he was the 14th president of World Bank and he was nominated by whom Joe Biden the president of USA he will be in this position for 5 years and he will be working towards the sustainable development goals and he will be working towards cleaning our environment or basically working towards the protection of environment right and he will be succeeding whom he will be succeeding David malpas correct also remember in 2016 ajay singh banga or ajay singh banga was honored with padma shri also for trade and industry next when was the international fire fighters day observed across the globe it was on the 4th of may we observed international fire fighters day red and blue ribbon these are the symbol for this international firefighters day and the first ever edition was observed in 1999 first time next name the personality who is said to receive the palme d'or at cannes film festival at this cannes film festival who is said to receive this palme d'or who will receive it it will be received by michael douglas right michael douglas will receive is said to receive the this palme d'or at cannes film festival 2023 this will be the 76th edition of this cannes film festival and Mugl- uh, michael douglas has won three awards oscars in 1976 oscar in 1988 and golden globe award in 2019 here this veteran actor will be facilitated 
for his contribution to cinema and successful career that spanned over five decades. So the correct option, Michael Douglas. Next, according to the report published by Central Electricity Authority in April, India is projected to have 41 gigawatt of energy storage capacity along with 777 gigawatt of total installed power capacity by the year 2029 to 2030. I repeat, according to a report that was released by Central Electricity Authority, Right, it projected that India will have. Uh, it is projected that India will have 41 gigawatt of energy storage capacity, along with 777 gigawatt of total installed power capacity by 2930. Next, the ministers of state of port shipping and waterways, Shantanu Thakur, flagged off MVITT line from. Shama Prasad Mukherjee port that is located in Kolkata, West Bengal, a first shipment to operationalize the Sitwe port in Rikhene state of Myanmar. So this question can also be asked that where is the Sitwe port? It is in Myanmar that was recently inaugurated and here this MV ITT Lion, this was the first, remember, this was the first shipment that was uh, taken to this Sitwe port that is in Myanmar. Correct? Important mark this. And this Sitwe port is uh, this particular shipment is carrying 20,000 bags containing 1,000 metric tons of cement and it will reach Sitwe port and it has reached Silpe port in 9th of May on 9th of May. Correct? So the correct option is this was launched from Kolkata West Bengal from the Shama Prasad Mukherjee port. See this term is important here. If you don't know the answer, but if you know that Shama Prasad Mukherjee port, it is located in West Bengal, then this question will be easily solved by you, right? Next, President of India, Draupadi Murmu launched the Addiction Free Odisha campaign from Brahma Kumari Center that is located in Dash district during her visit to Odisha. So remember, this Addiction Free program that was launched by or Addiction Free Odisha was launched by Draupadi Murmu and this is located in the Mayurbhanj district of Odisha. Name the union minister who recently reviewed the food street project aimed at developing 100 healthy and hygienic food streets across India. So this was launched by Mansuk L. Mandviaji and he has reviewed this food street program and basically the famous various famous food streets almost 100 and healthy and hygienic food streets will be developed across India so that people can taste good food and that will be basically a attraction for tourism also correct next name the small finance bank that recently partnered with max life insurance company limited to offer life insurances so remember small finance bank that is which is it it is your capital small finance bank they have partnered with max life insurance corporation limited to offer life insurances next is during the Internal Governmental Commission meeting on Trade, Economic, Scientific, Technology and Cultural Corporation, which country along with India has recently agreed to explore the rupee and mir cards for easy payment? See, first of all, remember for India, it is rupee and mir cards is for Russia. So now the question is simply asked to you that which two countries will be collaborating to explore payments via rupee and mir cards? It is your between India and Russia. Correct. Next, also this mutual acceptance of both rupee and mir cards will help both Indian and Russian citizens to make hassle-free payments in Indian rupees as well as Russian rubles in their respective countries. Next, three imprisoned women journalists from Daesh country, Nargis Mohammadi, Illa Mohammadi and Nilufar Hamadi received the 2023 UNESCO Gulemro Cano World Press Freedom Prize. Remember this UNESCO's Gulemro, uh, Gulemro Cano World Press Freedom Prize can also be asked. These two, uh, uh, these three women received this award. This award is given in the field of journalism. And these are the three journalists who recently released, uh, received this prize. Correct? So remember, they were awarded to celebrate the press freedom also. And basically to promote the freedom of the press this award was presented to them so these three women journalists are from which country they are from 
Iran and we know the the situation of Iran and still these women are working as a journalist so to honor them to honor their bravery they were awarded with this title next prime minister narendra modi will be the guest of honor at the national day of france celebrations on the 14th of july 2023 correct so narendra modi will be the guest of honor at france national day on 14th of july and both india and france has announced the statement correct this nash france national day is also known by an important day that is bastille day correct next also this is the bastille day on which the people celebrated liberty equality and fraternity right these are the three terms that were included into our preamble and they were taken from this only bastille day next name the cricket player who recently became the fastest player to reach 5000 runs in one day international that is to reach 5000 runs in odi in one day international format who he will be babar azam right he is the pakistani skipper and he became the first player to reach 5000 runs in one day international format next in which city Agni Daman 23 a mutual firing fighting exercise was recently conducted to raise awareness and train the personnel of both civil and military agencies of fire fighting so remember this was held in pune maharashtra right the exercise showcased the teamwork of all the fire fighting resources available with military and civil establishment a total of 56 fire fighting columns including 32 from civil agencies like national disaster relief force state disaster relief force fire department tata motors mahindra bajaj auto and among also participated in this exercise then name the company that recently signed an mou with mj control systems private limited to manufacture and develop electro mechanical bollards it is your bharat electronics limited right bel this has recently signed an mou with mj control systems private limited to manufacture and develop electro mechanical bollards So friends these are your important current affairs of the first week of May month I hope you have enjoyed our session if you find the session to be interesting and if you find the session to be valuable and you gain some information from this session then do like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views for the same if you find the both the things then do like and comment because that will motivate me to make better content for you in the long run right that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue